Hello, guys. I'm Lisa. And I'm Natasha. And we were wondering. Are you free for coffee? Welcome, welcome. Welcome, guys. We're going to talk about Christmas today. Yes. It's so, so close. A little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. So, Natasha, I have a few questions for us. I will take them. Uh, what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Ooh, okay. So probably to this day, it is baking and decorating cookies. Oh, and no, uh, no duh. pun. I know, duh. no pun intended. But when I was very little through high school, my grandma would invite all of her grandkids over. So she has seven kids. She has 30 plus grandkids. Oh my gosh. 20 plus great grandkids and even some great, great grandkids. So we would all come over. We would just, everyone had a station, like sprinkle station and not like these cute modern sprinkles. You know, back then you got like gumdrops and those little cinnamon Big hard candies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we would all make cookies and she would help us put them in bags and they would be our gifts to our parents. So if Aww. we didn't have anything else, we had that fresh baked So sweet. And my uh, daughter loves to decorate cookies with me and it just it it warms everything about me that's so, so fun. Yeah. so that's mine what is yours um well you know we used to open presents just kind of everybody go for it you okay. know and in five minutes it's over if that long right so then we started opening presents like in row fashion mm. from youngest to oldest so it, it it's so nice because Everybody can ooh and ah over each thing. Everything, yeah. And each gift gets its attention. And it's less chaos, it yeah. sounds like. And then you you spend so much time getting it. You want a little feedback. Yeah, and, yeah. And, you know, so see their reaction. Yeah, it's fun. I it's like fun. We do we it do that, that way. We don't we never run in and just I've seen people we never we've yeah, never done we that. We used to, but we take turns. Okay. So now it's that's kind of fun. So the next thing is what is your favorite Christmas carol? Ooh. Or a Christmas song. Christmas song? Classic or modern? Well, I have one of each, so you can do... Okay. Oh, man. It's hard to choose. What it you, is hard you, you to choose. You kind of have to categorize So them. modern would be anything Christmas by the Pentatonics, which they Oh, yeah. Yes, right I there. love them. Gosh. And you know what? Classic remake. It's not classic per se, but Michael Buble. Oh, yeah. His I Love Him for Christmas. Frank Sinatra. <laughs> he is. He is. It's, so it's like it's like a clap. It's like very traditional, but a modern remake. So yeah. anything Michael Bublé for Christmas, anything Pentatonix for my newest okay. stuff. I love A Holy Night for traditional. Okay. And, you know, like Nat King Cole or, Ooh, or somebody okay. like that singing yeah. it. Although I, I like, I've never not liked it, no matter who's saying it. Um, and contemporary, of course, all I want for Christmas is you, Mariah. Girl, who can't? Who doesn't you know, like you this? You just can't. I don't know. Does, does anybody not like that people, song? Some people say they don't, but. I don't believe them. When it comes on, you, you can't you, your little it. head starts to twitch. And you sing. And everyone tries to hit the high notes. It's just so. I love it. Yes. Yes. And Mariah Carey has done so much more, but let's be honest, we all love it. You know, there is a Netflix animated series, All I Want for Christmas is You, and it is based on Mariah Carey. Yes. Oh. I yeah, that's cute. It's really cute. Oh, so I do love that song. Yes. It makes me happy. Okay, next question. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Oh, okay. When I was a child, it was Home Alone. And Home Alone is a Christmas movie. People don't think it is. But did it you is. see my Home Alone Lego? I did see it. Yes. yes. We need to got, post yes, it. Yes, I'm going to post it's, it, y'all. It's actually pretty It took badass. us a minute to I did put not together. see the van until my now. Sister, my, my sister. That um, is awesome mostly did it <laughs> like I was I was a supervisor I was parts and she was labor do any of you all have older sisters if you do you understand this entire moment but y'all you know we could have <laughs> wired it there's a there's a kit that you can uh put lights in it and it then it actually yeah. sings and does all oh kind gosh. of stuff but we didn't know so I think I, like I kind of want to do it but I think we'd have to kind of take it apart you would now and yeah. it's, it's perfect. So, We're, we will post it to not. our Instagram because it is perfect. So that was my growing up. That was my favorite movie. I watched that the other day. Did In fact, you? I watched all of them with my oh, grandkids. We had a marathon. Home that's pretty marathon. awesome. We're supposed to do that yeah. next week. So nowadays, nowadays, my favorites, I have two. Um, so if you have Netflix, I got one for you. If you have Hulu, I have one for you. And I think you can stream them other places and pay for them. But on Hulu, I love Happiest Season. I think it's really, really, really cute. Mm -hmm. It's very, very conscious. And it gives 
people who modern, yeah, I guess modern. people who aren't always included in Christmas stories, very much so in inclusion. And then on Netflix, I am really digging Love Hard. It's it's I haven't new. seen that one. I'm gonna watch it. It's so it's so this day and age. Because it has to do with is two it people. funny? Is it's it a very comedy? funny. Okay. Very funny. But it has to do with two people meeting on an app. Oh, that's cute. Yes, it is. It's it's that's a cute. That's a good meet cute. It's cute and hilarious and yeah. Or cute meet. What is it? Meet it, cute, I think. It, it's <laughs> you know it, it is cute, but it is chaos too. Okay. Well I'm gonna watch that. So my favorite is It's a Wonderful Life. And I cry every time I really? watch it. I do. Just something about it just kind of touches me. My husband loves that. Um, and a modern one, I guess, The Holiday with Kate Winslet. And yeah. Oh, I love it. But okay. I, I love that. the house. I'm just, you know. Yes. I just love Kate. You know, I Kate's do love that one. house. It's yeah. so darling. And I love Jude Law in that. I think that's my yeah. favorite uh, part. Oh, I may watch him. that one again. Yeah. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah, that's a sweet one. That is a good one. Okay. Your favorite Christmas cookie. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I love sugar cookies. I know that's plain. Like crunchy or soft? Soft. Soft. Soft only. Soft sugar ice. cookies. You no, know ice? Un-iced, no, just plain. Soft sugar cookies. Minimal. If you have to do the little sugar, sanding sugar on top, please keep it to a minimum. I don't need a ton of that. That's my favorite, okay. which is so plain. I know. Yeah, I love sugar cookies too, but my favorite is it's a Reese's peanut butter cup cookies. So the actual cookie is like peanut butter, but then there's little miniature Reese's wrapped inside uh, of it. You, you cut them in half. So, you know, to get them a little yeah. smaller. And, and then you also use um, semi-sweet chocolate too. Okay. So yeah, that's this, in this it. And they like are you. so good y'all. And they're so Soft and are they pretty rich? Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so good. You knew I wasn't gonna. I, I wait chocolate. all year to do those. To do those, I don't have them any other time. Yeah. You know, but that, that, now I do because of when this will will air. I do like gingerbread. Like I love those, but I by Christmas I'm gingerbreaded out. Yeah. Like I've I've had it from. I love the look of gingerbread. I don't know. I mean, I like gingerbread cake. Do you do you, you like you ginger know, snaps? Not especially. Really. I mean, if, if you. If somebody offered it to me, I'd eat it, but it oh, wouldn't I die. Love. Do you like but, molasses? You know, not especially. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. 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 Do you have a favorite Christmas ornament? Like a sentimental one or something? One I that's do. Doing something to you? I do. We, yeah. We have a lot though, but we commemorate big things. So we have our very first Christmas together. We have a picture ornament. Our kids, we have first Christmas ones mm-hmm. for them. But I had a good friend of mine. We actually we dated in college and then remained friends. He passed away. And I have one of his ornaments. And that's oh, like our special. That's sweet. We put it up. Yep. So that's like kind of our like special sentimental. Yeah. Always goes up. I, the ornaments that my kids made when they were in school, I would go into a burning building for those. Like that would be the thing I would save if yeah. my house was on fire. But surprisingly enough. Um, last year I had, I had so many ornaments, you know, when your kids are little, you have those kind of trees yes. with those, with all their stuff. And even the ornaments you buy are very kid friendly. Yeah. And I, I hadn't done that kind of a tree in years because I don't gorgeous, have, I don't have way. little kids. So last year I was like, do you guys want these ornaments? And so I divided them up because, you know, all the ones that, that each kid, kid made did, right. and then some that I bought for each kid and they, you know, they had Ones that pertain to their sport or their hobby. Whatever they were into. And so I divided them up and gave them to them. Oh. So the, it's kind of fun when I go to visit them. They're on now their see trees. It. See, I like so that. So that's fun. Yeah. My parents did the same. We have some of ours too. And then I, I try to put them at the top where nothing can, because they're so, you know, they're from the 80s. So it's like, we don't want anything to happen yeah. to this. Yeah. We have some too. Okay. What is your favorite Christmas libation? You have an alcoholic drink that does something for you <laughs> at Christmas time. So I'm really, when I say this, people either love it or hate it, but they've never had it my way because I make it. But mine is eggnog. Me too. Mine is eggnog. I have a good recipe too. It's, okay. It, the recipe is mine's probably a little heavy on 30 the 30 something years old. Ooh. 
Ooh. and it uses you use raw eggs, but the liquor yes. cooks it. Yes, correct. Maybe it's the same one. I don't know if it's the, the same. This but yeah. recipe was like in the Dallas Morning News in the paper. Like I years wonder if ago, this is or it. Maybe it was in D Magazine. No, my we'll post it. Okay, it's it yes, is that is so, so very my rich. husband was like, I don't like eggnog. I'm like, what do you mean? It will knock you on yeah. your and ass. And if you want to it's cheat, really strong. If you want to cheat, and you're in Texas, right? The best cheater eggnog that you can get is Brahms. Oh, really? And my husband would kill me Have for I telling had, me. I don't know and they I do know. actually make theirs. Okay. It is so good. It's so good. We'll post recipes. Yes. So. And my, my husband would kill me because then now he's going to tell everyone we'll go get my eggnog. <laughs> but Brahms is the best. And what do you what liquor do you add to your eggnog? Um, bourbon. Yeah. I mean you there's you can do I've a added combination rum and bourbon. You can do a combination, yes. I think, of, of three. And even amaretto is delicious. Okay. So I have um my dad added fireball. Mm. Is and that what is that? Cinnamon? It's whiskey. It's the cinnamon whiskey. And surprisingly, it was actually really good. And I don't like I don't like it okay. alone. But it 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 it, it was very festive because it's it's so heavy in the cinnamon. Yeah. It was good. It'll sneak up on you, though. Yeah. But no, they won't even sneak. Mine just has a sledgehammer right away. <laughs> that's kind of mine. But it's so good. Um, okay. So, y'all, what do you think about Kim K and Pete Davidson? Get it, girl. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> you guys already know that I am a Pete Davidson fan. Listen, he's tall and funny and dorky and everything about that screams hot to me. And I saw it coming. I remember when Did I brought you, I told you, I was like, I could so see that. Listen, think about this. You have a sister and here's your sister, your older sister who has all these love ups and downs and debacles. And then she gets with this guy that's tatted up and not anything like what you've ever seen any of the Kardashians with. And she is madly in love. Oh, we, we're talking about Courtney. We're talking about Courtney. Okay. So you're telling me she wasn't looking like, maybe I need to quit dating my type. You know, maybe I need to step out of my step comfort zone. Type. And yes. then if someone can make you laugh, that's priceless. I thought about, this is funny. I thought about that, about type the other day. You know, maybe you love hamburgers and you know, nothing like a great hamburger. That's your go-to. Mm-hmm. You love hamburgers. But then somebody takes you for sushi, say, and then you're like, well, damn. I like this too. <laughs> sushi is really Sushi's good. Sushi's pretty damn good. So- it's kind of like that. That's exactly what it is. So that is exactly what it is. Now, my usually my thing is when somebody breaks up, I feel like you just need some alone time, you know, um, just to reevaluate mm-hmm. and just take some time. But I thought about her, and there she had a she was quoted as saying, um, she had admitted that she and Kanye had their most tension free moments when he was living in another state. Yep. And she said, I thought, Oh my God, that's when we're getting along the best. But then that is so sad to me. And that's not what I want. Mm -hmm. So I thought, even though she was married, you can be married and live completely separate yes, lives and not be together. And be alone. Yeah, and not be together. So she really has been alone. That was so that was and my maybe thought. for a long time. That and was their my last thought. two ch- children were by surrogate, so they yes. might not even you yes. know, I, I don't yes. know. I'm yes. not saying anything, yeah. but you know, they, he didn't even have to be in the room for that. No. I'm just saying. Right. No, I I I think it was a long time coming. Yeah. And I think a I'm lot surprised of times, she lasts as long as she did. I do too. Really. I, I I really want, and I, I give her props. For I that. do too because I want to point out that while this this is nothing against mental health issues, but the reality of living with someone day in and day out who is struggling with mental health and not seeking proper treatment mm-hmm. and not maintaining a regimen, yeah. it is very very daunting to say the very least. And right. so. I really give her props. I really do for that. But I feel like sometimes you just know and you know I'm done, right? I don't, I, I mean, they may not be where I want to be, but I'm done. I know it's time to move on. She could have realized that two years ago. So we're, people are looking at it like, oh, she's already with somebody. Yeah. Maybe she, she might have been checked out two years ago. Right, we don't know. Right. But and that's how I feel. Pete Davidson is super yeah. cute, super funny. I and want everybody to be Ariana happy. Grande, he is, you know, yeah. well endowed. Yeah. So go Kim. 
Yeah. We want everybody to be happy. I yes. like them both. I want them together. together. I, I want them together. I'm going to say you, it. boo. Yeah. We're, we're happy for Girl, you. Girl, text me a works. picture. <laughs> like, do yeah. you and text me a picture. Yeah. I love me some Pete. Okay. So, you guys, there's a lot coming to the movies and on television, lots of new things. And we were just kind of give you a little update. Oh, and by the way, Ben and Jen... Still going They're strong. They're still going strong, yes. Okay, just FYI. Um, and just like that, which is the Sex in the City reboot, that's coming uh, December 9th, guys. Is it that? Yes, oh, that's, it's coming that's on fast HBO approaching. December 9th. Uh, King Richard, starring Will Smith, is that's playing that's now. That's playing now, yes. On, at the movies and on HBO, which I saw it, and it's really good. And I think... Will Smith does a great job in the role. It's very inspiring. Makes me really. I know that um, Venus and Serena loved it. So that, so that that's says a, good a lot. Sign. Yeah. yeah. That is definitely a good sign. Um, there's a new, really epic show on Prime Video. It's a fantasy called The Wheel of Time. It's kind of Game of Thrones ish. The first three episodes are out now. <clears throat> and new episodes are coming every Friday. They've already renewed it for a second season. Okay. So I did watch it. It is very fantasy. Okay. So if you if you mm. like that genre, that's my genius. Um, you know, and it is very epic. And Rosamund Pike is in it. You know, Gone Girl, the girl from Oh, Gone girl. she's played in lots of things. You know her. She's a brunette in this though. Um, and it it was. Don't it was, you love how they just kind of like can switch and switch they're, they're a whole new yeah. person? But it it was pretty good. Uh, Belfast is out starring Outlander's Katrina Balfe and Fifty Shades Jamie Dornan and Judy Dench. It is kind of a biopic, kind of sort of, or at least autobiographical. The director, Kenneth Branagh, his childhood, okay. the, the tensions and troubles that was, were going on in Ireland between the Protestants and the Catholics. Which I, you know, since I didn't live there, uh, <laughs> right? I, I never did get it. I mean, I remember when that was going on. I think, I don't know. I guess I was in high school or something. I was just like, mm, I'm not kind of getting that, right. you know, but, um, but just like, I'm not getting now what's going on in America. Mm, so girl, mm, that's we'll talk about that later. This is Chris. Um, <laughs> cheerful times. Cheerful yes. Times. Uh, the remake of West Side Story, Steven Spielberg's. West Side Story is coming out oh, December 10th. Yes, yes. If you like musicals, yes. uh, that will be, be your jam. Yep. Uh, Being the Ricardos is uh, re- going to be released December 10th. And that's kind of a, not re- it's not really a biopic, but it, it, it portrays um, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz during some um issues they were having and and they they did have a lot yes they did and it's uh and it will be on amazon prime later in the month and the lost daughter starring dakota johnson and olivia coleman which is getting a um some award buzz okay is coming out december 31st and outlander guys the first of the year that i don't we don't have i don't have a no not date but but we do know that will um, be coming out, and so. we do also know that Bridgerton season two, or you know, the second part, did just wrap up filming. Yay! So we should be getting that soon. I don't think we'll get it for Christmas. No, will we? No. No. no, that's that. That was such a. It's going to be in the new year. Great Christmas present. It was. <laughs> just rewatch Ted Lasso for Christmas. Yes, and we're going to do. We'll do a whole. We're, we're going to do, do a whole, whole yeah. thing, guys. So, I've been converted. I know it's bad. Yes. I am very evangelical with Ted Lasso. <laughs> I'm spreading the word. It's getting it converts. Is it is it is good. So, I hate to admit it, but it's it's actually really, really good. We're gonna take a little break and we will come back to y'all the first of the year. Yes, this is but our will season finale. Keep up with us on Instagram because we will post and we might do maybe we're trying to decide if we want to do a YouTube, but maybe we'll let you know we if might. we do. Um so, who is your sexiest man alive this week? This week. Hmm. I know who I'm going to pick. I don't know his real name. You know his real name. So, in the spirit of Ted Lasso, 
I'm going to pick Roy Kent, who is a character, guys. Oh. As my sexiest man alive. But this is the thing. It has to be Roy Kent because whoever he is for real is not that attractive. Is not, is not, <laughs> he's, well, his real name is Brett Goldstein and he is that attractive, but I just love Roy Kent. Like I love the character. And you know, he's one of the writers, which makes him oh, even he just like got really even yummy. sexier to me. Yeah. yeah. So I love Roy Kent, which who in reality is Brett Goldstein, but he probably doesn't swear as much. He may not play but soccer. But somebody was saying that he kind of is like that. Really? <laughs> I think I read that somewhere because he was in Texas. He was at then, in Austin at something. That I absolutely love he you. He kind of has that that same, same demeanor. Yeah, that's my sexiest man alive. Yeah, he, Brett Goldstein, aka Roy Kent. Yeah, he does it for me too. He's yeah, that's really cute. he's yummy. So I am going to pick Jamie Dornan, who is in this new um, movie, Belfast. And he was Christian Grey in Fifty Mm -hmm. Shades of Grey. And he's really cute. He borders uh, on pedophilia for me (laughs) at my age. He is a grown man, happily married and with children. He is a grown-ass man, but, you know, he ain't grown (laughs) enough. Okay? Um, But he's, he's just darling. Okay. He's so cute. And um, every interview I've heard of him, he's just so well spoken and funny he, yeah, he and is handsome. just a cute guy. Those are good ones. So, and, and he's up. So what, we want to see him in this new role. I like, I love when people, you think of them in just one way and they do other they things. They do so much more. And, and there's, like they're just, this there's so much more yes. to them yeah, than, I agree. than this one thing. And of course, Fifty Shades was well loved, um, the books and the movies, um, but he's a lot more than that. Yes, he is. He so, is. I watched an interview with him. Shout and I'm like, out to Wait, him. This you're a whole person under this yeah. because sometimes we fall rather in love or rather we hate a character. We're wrapped up in that character. And it's just pretend, there's, y'all. There's so I know I it's have to tell pretend. myself it's fiction. It's just it's fiction. It's okay. Yeah. Isn't it amazing that they can just suck us in? Like that, yes. Though, Which know. means they're doing their job. They are. You cannot tell me that was it. Jason Sudeik. You know he's Ted Lasso. If I meet him on the street, he needs to be Ted Lasso. Right. He can't be but anyone he's else. Not. But he's not. <laughs> which is, which is so insane. disappointing. I know. It's I love. I love Ted and his little mustache. So cute. We're gonna do a whole. Show we have to. Yeah. On him. I've been sucked in, guys. It's pretty bad. I've even sucked in my husband. So and now our whole house is sucked in. So you guys on Instagram, we have been listing the, um, our shopping, yes, our list. And we talked to y'all last week about it, but it's on, it's up at, on Instagram. So look at that. And we have the links there. Um, let's see what else is going on. We'll put the PDF. It will make We still it- have the PDF. For the Thanksgiving table. It's not too late. It's and you can use late. it for your Christmas yeah, table you too. They're very holiday. neutral. So, so that's the that's the free download. All you have to do free is download, save it, print it, cut it. You're good to do go. Do what you want with it. But and we'll let do us, a, hit us up and show us what you did. Yes, please tag us, and we'll do you a can gift do tags. Guide. You can. It would make cute Christmas tags. You cut it in actually, half. It's actually a Christmas yeah. tag, or yeah. even whole. Oh, you're right. You know, especially I'm if kind it's, of, if I'm it's kind like of a, a rebel garment like box. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You're right. Yeah. Maybe we need you to do a picture. You can do some things. Yeah, you can do some things with that. And it's very on par with all the neutrals that you're seeing. Like it'll go with your navies. It'll go with the traditional red and And green. I did a lot of um, paper bag stuff, y'all, for Christmas. Yeah, we need so to it would go pictures. with my it's stuff. So yes. So in burlap. So it will, it will go with that. Yeah. So it's, use it. Please use it. Yeah. It, that, it, this, it, your whole setup is cute. We need to post pictures. We'll post pictures. But guys, it has been a wonderful season. It's been so fun sharing our thoughts and opinions and facts about different things. It's been absolutely delightful. If there are any topics that you want to talk about, then let us know. Please let us know. Because I cannot wait to start recording. Thanks to Juana for all your input. Yeah, shout out to Juana. She gives us good she ideas. She does give us good ideas, good input, really good feedback, and we love it. We definitely appreciate it. And I guess until next year. Oh, that sounds so crazy. It is 2022. Until next year, guys. 